I use my iPad first and foremost as a productivity tool. But to be honest, there was never really a place where I could just compile and unite all my crazy ideas. Until Apple launched its new Freeform app. I've been playing around with it for the last couple of weeks and I have to say my experience has been pretty amazing so far. The Freeform is essentially designed for visual collaboration and brainstorm. It's built like an infinite flexible canvas perfect for drawing, writing and connecting ideas. It allows you to handwrite, you can draw, you can create different shapes and even import various media like pictures, videos, links among other cool stuff like these arrows right here that you can use to connect different elements and move them around effortlessly. For the sake of this video, I'm going to be using my prep for this video right here. Kind of meta, I know, but I really think that the use case I'm going to be talking about can actually be useful for you independently of the kind of project you're working on. What I did is basically create a canvas around one main idea, the Freeform app video, where I organized all different elements using the app's features to create different sections. It's pretty cool, right? First thing I do for any video is research some content for reference. I tend to do that first on YouTube, but I also research on blogs, on Reddit threads, for example, and then I try to compile everything in one place. Here in my inspiration section, I compiled all those links together. You can see that I have YouTube links, blog links, that when I click on them, I get directly to the page. Those are easily to organize and resize, and having the thumbnail there actually makes it very easy to recognize them, even when not reading the text. Another thing I love to do is screenshot a quote or an important part of a blog post, and then import it directly in here. And from here I can annotate it, I can highlight the parts I want, which is pretty cool. Once this part is done, I like to create a mood board, just to explore some visuals that I can use to illustrate my ideas on video. And Freeform is pretty great for that. It allows you to easily import photos and to compile them how you actually want them. You can resize them very easily, you can annotate stuff on them, and you can actually layer them. So you can just tap here, for example, and send it either back a layer or to the front. Once I pin the general mood for my shots, I actually like to sketch a general idea of how I want my shot to look like. Needless to say that I'm not a great drawer by any stretch of imagination. That's why the shape tool is actually great just to create a table, for example, or in my case, the iPad. Most importantly, it allows me kind of to draw everything next to the mood boards without opening another app. Okay, now I do need to script my videos, right? So the Freeform app allows you to write. Apart from supporting handwriting, Freeform has a handwriting to text feature as well. And obviously you are able to type your own text. So in this section, I actually wrote the whole script. Although I improvise a lot of the stuff I say, I actually like to have everything written down first. So once I'm happy with my script, I like to ask for feedback and Freeform makes it very easy for you to do that. The app allows me to share the board itself, to export it as a PDF and send to people so that they can annotate stuff on it, for example, and even FaceTime my colleagues while we're actually brainstorming together on what can be improved upon. This collaborative aspect is actually one of Freeform's biggest selling points. If you want to know more about it, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll be more than happy to create a video around this topic. Okay, now during the shoot, I like to keep my stuff organized. Right off the bat, I like to label the clips so they are easy to identify once I'm editing them. With Freeform's voice dictation, it's actually pretty easy to do so. While I'm going through the clips in camera, I double tap my sticky note. It's going to bring up the keyboard and when I tap on dictation here, it will add to the note what I'm saying. Let's do it here. Clip DSC 074 and I can just tap on the next one. Clip DSC 075. It just continues recording without me having to go through the whole process again. It's a really quick way to add some information on your iPad when you're actually looking at something else and just need to dictate it. Okay, moving on. On this side, I compile what's actually integral for the video publishing. I've got some title ideas, some thumbnails that I actually created. Talking about thumbnails, what I think is really cool is that you can actually create a thumbnail here in app. Taking this board here, I can just go zoom in and zoom out until I find the right setting. 
I can write something down, screenshot it, and bam, thumbnail done. Well, if you clicked on the video, you might have noticed that the thumbnail I chose is actually one from this selection right here. So for this last section right here, I got inspired by a video by Daily Tech where they did the same. And I found the idea actually pretty interesting. If you need a place to manage your projects, but you don't want to use Asana or Trello, for example, Freeform might be a good option for you to use. Using a shape, some lines as dividers, a few text boxes and the sticky notes, I created a project management area that is very simple to use. I have to say that I love the sticky notes for their convenience. They're very versatile, they align with each other perfectly, so you can create perfect columns without pretty much any extra effort. Now, I use this board for a project on my own, but imagine this video was part of something way bigger. All other connected projects could live on the same board. So we could have a similar ecosystem for the blog post, for the newsletter, or for social posts, for example. And this board would allow the project manager to have a very easy bird's eye view on everything that's being done by the team. And that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this little walkthrough of how I'm personally using the Freeform app. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And if you're looking for something that is strictly for note takers, we highly encourage you to watch our latest video where we compare good notes to notability. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.